the Palace of Culture, located in the heart of Pianella's historic center, is the Museum of Ceramics. Inside the museum, called MACA, an acronym for Museo dell'Artigianato Ceramico Abruzzese, Museum of Abruzzo Ceramic Craftsmanship, you can admire over 400 ceramic pieces, such as vases, plates, jugs and more, covering chronological span from the 16th to the 20th century, representative of almost all the regional production centers in Abruzzo. Especially those from Castelli, like this soup tureen from the 19th century or Maiolica from 1920, sold especially in the United States, or this service with antelope designs, in vogue in the 1920s. On this shelf, we admire some engobed and glazed pieces from Vasto and Lanciano, used for cooking, or for the larder. This, on the other hand, is a very particular bottle, with monochrome decoration, from the late 1700s. Among the antique ceramics from the 16th century, we would like to point out a floor tile attributable to master ceramists from Anversa degli Abruzzi. Among the curiosities, we can admire an object that has little decorative value but was very useful for automobiles in the 1930s, namely the spark plug for internal combustion engines that had a very important ceramic piece for its operation, made by the ceramists of Speaker from Castelli for the Bologna distributor. The two decorated porcelain containers produced by CMAC in Castelli, for the Italian Radium Company in Rome are very special. They were used to contain radium. On the bottom, we can see a hole that was used to pour it in small doses when needed to make X-rays. Finally, there is a collection of terracotta whistles of different shapes, made between the mid-19th century to the mid-20th century. The museum's director, Diego Troiano, recently donated 150 ceramics to his fellow citizens, and from them to the municipality of Pianella, to form a permanent civic collection. In the same building, owned by the municipality of Pianella, we find the Municipal Library on the first floor, while on the second, which can only be visited by appointment, there is a collection of objects such as furniture, photos, wedding dresses, sewing machines, and more, from the late 19th and early 20th century. All the results of Mira Cancelli's work. Not far from this building, we can visit, again by appointment only, the Trepetto Grande, the place where extra virgin olive oil was produced in the past. Since the 15th century, oil was the green gold for Pianella's economy, allowing the fortified village to grow, so much so that it was named a city in 1773 by decree of the King of Naples. It was the most important Farnese oil mill in Pianella as it was equipped with two millstones. The processing and crushing of olives was very important for the production of oil, which was exported to many important cities such as Naples, Rome, Venice, Parma and Chieti. The problem of milling olives and the price scale gave rise to a dispute between the citizens of Pianella, supported by the municipality, and the overbearingness of the large landowners and barons. The lawsuit, which went by the name of the Affair of the Trapati, ended in 1788. In the oil mill, you can still see the oak presses and those with steel screws. The millstones. The tools for processing. The pans for collecting the oil. The inferno, which was the brick container, placed under the floor where the freshly pressed olive paste went. Then the worker's resting place. The donkey stall. The winches, 
the ropes and finally the cisterns.